what's happening in our neighboring galaxy. The James Webb Space Telescope has picked up an alarming signal, and it's coming directly from the Andromeda Galaxy. This galaxy, home to billions of stars, is one of the most beautiful galaxies known in the universe. But it hides a dark secret, it's a cosmic predator. Andromeda is devouring entire small galaxies and is currently hurtling toward our Milky Way at a dizzying speed of more than 100 kilometers per second. Could this strange signal be the first sign of Andromeda's impending collision with the Milky Way, or are we dealing with an unknown phenomenon? When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its piercing gaze on the galaxy, it revealed something truly astonishing. Andromeda showed us in a dramatic way that she was not what we thought. Let's journey took us to the 1920s, a time when astronomy was on the verge of revolutionary discoveries. Big names like Harlow Shapley, Heber Curtis and Edwin Hubble were conducting research using the latest technology of the time. Thanks to advances in electrical engineering, the power of telescopes increased dramatically in the early 1920s. For the first time, astronomers could see beyond the limits of our own galaxy. At the time, Heber Curtis was among those researchers who believed that the Milky Way represented the entire universe. However, his colleague Harlow Shapley suspected that there were other galaxies and that the universe was much larger. Shapley and Hubble discovered strange clouds of light beyond the boundaries of the Milky Way. One of them was named the Andromeda Nebula, because it was hidden behind the constellation Andromeda. At the time, Andromeda was considered by the scientific community to be a simple nebula that actually lay outside the universe. In 1924, Hubble made a revolutionary breakthrough. He demonstrated that Andromeda and several other nebulae were actually galaxies. This discovery was revolutionary. Just 100 years ago, we discovered other galaxies and the true nature of Andromeda. At that time, people had the first impression that the universe was much larger than they had imagined. Throughout history, we have experienced such upheavals many times. It was once thought that the earth was everything and the sun was a hole in the sky through which divine light shone down on the earth. At that time, people thought that the earth was a disk and that if you went over the edge, you would fall into nothingness or hell. Galileo was placed under house arrest in the 17th century because he believed that the earth revolved around the sun. Several centuries later, the church finally recognized that the earth is round. Imagine what Galileo would have said about such images, or how the medieval church would have reacted to the idea of galaxies in an almost infinitely vast universe, Andromeda is a galaxy twice the size of our Milky Way, with billions of stars. Initially, astronomers thought the galaxy was a disk or a ring. Although telescopes had made significant advances in the 1920s, their ability to see was still not comparable to today's technology. Thanks to better imaging, it became clear that Andromeda is a spiral galaxy like our Milky Way, but significantly larger. Andromeda is about 220,000 light-years in diameter, twice as large as our Milky Way, which spans between 100,000 and 120,000 light-years. Although it is only slightly more than twice as large, it contains many more stars. The Andromeda Galaxy is estimated to be home to about 1 trillion stars, while the Milky Way has only 100 to 400 billion. Thanks to its higher star density, Andromeda is a veritable beacon in the night sky, astronomers could only dream of such numbers and details 100 years ago. But you can imagine how exciting it must have been to discover other galaxies at that time. Today we know that there are around 50 billion galaxies, with estimates suggesting that there are between 100 and 200 billion galaxies in total in the observable universe. Some calculations even reach the astronomical figure of 2 trillion galaxies. Most of these galaxies are found in a supercluster called the Shapley Supercluster, in honor of one of the first galactic researchers the James Webb Telescope shows Andromeda as a ring of fire. Each era and era has seen scientific and technological revolutions. The telescope named after Edwin Hubble completely changed our view of the universe in the mid-1990s. Today, with the James Webb, we have the best space telescope of all time. With its exceptionally sharp infrared images, the telescope scrutinizes every light signal in the universe, no matter how small. 
Unlike Hubble, Webb detects traces of light in the infrared range. Using its instruments, the telescope collects every trace of light, assembling these tiny pulses into stunning images after many hours of exposure, Hubble has given us a powerful image of the Andromeda galaxy. Imagine, this image is a composite of thousands of individual images. Today, Webb once again examined the Andromeda galaxy using unique infrared technology and once again surprised us. Every new telescope and every technological advance opens up new areas of the universe to us. Infrared telescopes provide us with information that was inaccessible to previous technologies. One of the major innovations in infrared observations has been the ability to detect dust structures in galaxies. For example, in the Andromeda galaxy, infrared light allows us to clearly see dust rings that remain hidden in other wavelengths. These dust rings tell the story of star formation in the galaxy and demonstrate dynamical processes. Infrared observations are especially useful for detecting cold objects that do not radiate enough heat to produce waves in the visible light spectrum. This makes young stars and their training areas especially clear to Webb. The telescope sees all the cold dust clouds that could eventually become stars. Because Webb not only detects dust but also penetrates it without problems, we can now see through dense clouds of gas and dust, revealing inner structures with active galactic centers. Activity and supermassive black holes But what about the terrifying phenomenon of galactic cannibalism? Most of us have probably heard of galactic mergers, in which two galaxies become one. However, the truth about galactic cannibalism may come as a surprise. Galaxies eating each other may sound like the title of a bad sci-fi movie, but the phenomenon is an astronomical reality. When talking about cannibalism, galactologists are referring to processes in which a larger galaxy literally devours the matter of a smaller galaxy. Unlike fusion, the larger galaxy will suck all the matter from the smaller galaxy, destroying it. The basic structure of the larger galaxy will remain largely unchanged, this process is triggered by gravitational interactions. If the galaxies get close enough to each other, their mutual attraction and the significant difference in their sizes can cause the smaller galaxy to break apart. This phenomenon has been observed especially in galaxy clusters, where many galaxies are found together in a limited space. Gravitational interactions lead to dynamic reactions, pulling stars, gas, and dust out of the smaller galaxy and into the larger one. Dynamic tidal forces can trigger massive episodes of star formation and rupture the cores of neighboring galaxies. Would you be surprised to learn that the majestic Andromeda is one of the galactic cannibals? Our neighboring galaxy has been shown to have devoured several of its satellite galaxies. Certain structures in Andromeda's stellar population serve as evidence of these violent acts. Traces are also visible in the galaxies M32 and M110, which are still partially visible today. Our Milky Way is not innocent in this cosmic drama. It has assimilated several smaller galaxies in its history and is currently devouring the Sagittarius dwarf galaxy. Galactic cannibalism probably played an important role in the evolution of galaxies and the formation of large-scale structures in the universe, such as mergers or harmonic encounters in which galaxies partially come into contact and transform each other. Due to its constant gravitational movements and interactions, the cosmic web is constantly evolving, contributing to the dynamics of galaxies. This cosmic circular dance is something we can only explore and understand with fractions, now let's talk about the most powerful crash, Milkdromeda. Yes, that's right. Right now, the Andromeda galaxy is hurtling towards us at 110 km per second and we are heading towards it. The cosmic marriage of the two is inevitable. They seem to be magically attracted to each other. In about 4.5 billion years, the climax of this cosmic spectacle will occur. The Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy will begin their final merger, giving birth to the Milky Dromeda, a new galaxy. This merger will mark the end of the two separate galactic entities, this rapprochement is not violent, but a process that will gradually become more powerful over millions of years. As the two galaxies get closer, their respective gravitational fields will begin to interact, causing fundamental changes in their structures. 
At a certain distance, the outer stars will collide and their orbits will be disrupted by each other's gravity. This will result in beautiful, albeit chaotic, arrangements of stars. Stars and clusters that were once stable in their galactic disks will be pushed into new orbits. Some may even be ejected from the galaxies, traveling through the vast intergalactic space with no connection to the galaxy. At the same time, the gas and dust between the galaxies will be compressed, leading to a new wave of star formation. A fireworks display of bright young stars will accompany this galactic wedding. Unlike cannibalism, the two galaxies will become increasingly intertwined. Some regions will merge smoothly, while others will undergo major changes under the pressure. At the centers of the two galaxies, the drama will be even more intense. The giant central black holes will move closer together, orbiting in an ever closer dance until they finally merge. This merger will release a huge amount of energy and giant jets that will be able to shoot out into the surrounding universe at nearly the speed of light, over the hundreds of millions of years that this merger takes place, the appearance of the galaxy will change dramatically many times. From the original spiral structure of the two galaxies, their combination will create a large elliptical galaxy called the Milky Way. Neither Andromeda nor the Milky Way will be recognizable. Instead, a completely new structure will be passing through the universe. Subscribe now for more amazing insights into the universe. More videos will be introduced to you, revealing the mysteries of our universe.